Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ivan Goldbit here again with a short video on. In this video, we're going to be talking about a new car that actually just came out on GTA, and I didn't even know of it. I, I got told by a friend that there was an update, so I so I came to check it out. So let's go to let's go to travel and transport. I believe it's here. Yes, yeah, so, well of course, right? It has to be here. Now let, let's check out Southern Salinas. Super Autos real fast. I think the only vehicle I saw here that was new was the Western Demon. I believe this is the new uh, a new bike we got. But let's check out the car. That's the one I was really interested in. It's in Legendary Motorsports. It's part of the bikers is the BF Raptor. This looks really cool actually. So this is supposed to be like the real life spider. You know, a little th uh, three door uh, vehicle. Not three door, three, three wheel vehicle. Well, I guess I could have three doors, but it's three wheel. It's three wheeler. It's pretty cool. Acceleration-wise, um, not the best, but I mean, th th they're all kind of slow in the beginning. Speed-wise, decent. Braking is, uh, it's all right. Traction's good too. So it's not something over the top that's gonna just wow you. And the price, well, the price is actually pretty good. It's only six hundred and forty-eight thousand. Now, maybe not everybody's gonna be able to buy it. But it's still not that expensive. It's more accessible than even the bike, which oddly enough, it's a bigger vehicle. You would expect this to be actually more expensive. But it's more accessible than the bike because the bike's almost close to a million. But enough rambling, guys. I'm going to buy it. Which color should I buy it on? Let's see. I, I think, honestly, if it doesn't look good in white, it's not going to look good in any other color. And if you want to read this little description, just stop the video right now and you can read this just in case you want to read this. Okay, so let's buy it, and we're going to send it just about everything. Here we go, it just spawned. Nice. So first, uh, impressions. Cool, it says Raptor. Looks really cool. The exhaust is kind of, oh, it's a dual exhaust. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> but I only had one. Raptor up here too. Nice. I like the wheels, they're alright. Now let's get inside it. Let's see how it actually looks from the inside. While we're driving this, it's really low. I kind of like that. Oh damn! It has some good sound. As a, uh, as a unique uh, cluster, uh, and it looks pretty cool. It has a little LC LED screen in the middle. So let's drive it. Let's get out of here. Oop. Yeah, see, this is pretty awesome. And it is kind of fast for uh, not being tuned. Let's see. This Raptor right there on this side. The, uh, whoops! I'm gonna move out of the way. I, wanna, I don't want to get hit. <laughs> saying I don't want to get hit and I crash into the palm tree. Okay. Um, Raptor there. I, mean, I don't know if it's actually carbon on top. I can't really distinguish it right now, especially at night. But overall, this thing has a good view. And you can fit two people in here, so that's nice. Oh yeah, this thing looks sick, actually. I, I, I honestly didn't think they were going to implement something like this, like the spider. Okay, this is pretty cool. I wonder if it has good traction. Let's see. Let's drift. Oh, maybe not that good traction for drifting. Maybe I just get used to it because I'm kind of new to this vehicle. But we're going to go straight into customizing it because that's what we're here for. We're going to see if it's actually worth buying. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe I just got to get used to it. Because the drifting is still not working out. That's a little bit better. I think the revving is also special to this bike. Well, it's not, it sounds like a motorcycle, actually, which that's what it really is, just with three wheels with and a now? bigger body. <laughs> but in real life, it has a motorcycle engine. Okay. Uh, we're going to get the upgrade armor later. We actually do want to see how badly it can get messed up. We're going to buy full upgrades for the brakes. You're good for snow. Engine 2. We're just going to take this off so we don't get confused with the explosives. Headlights. I'm gonna keep them stock. They look nice stock. Don't need that. Black and yellow. Um, respray. Chrome looks nice. Hey, there's a discount too for uh for painting these. I don't know, guys. What should I do? I kind of want to take a gold. Just me. <laughs> I like the vehicles looking gold. Uh, let's just check out one quick thing. I might want to make it. Yeah, l let's actually do this. Let's try to make it a little 
let's try to make it look a little bit unique. Or let's uh, let's see how it looks like with this. So I'm gonna put graphite. There's a way you can make the colors pop out a little bit more. Putting graphite and then adding another color like this, so it kind of gives it a uh, a two-tone color that turns really dark and then really bright at the same time. Okay, let's see. Do I like this lime green or do green? Do yellow, actually, not do green. Do yellow. Do I like this? Looks all right. But can it look better though? Let's see. We can make it look like the Batmobile, just like this. That really black, white, shiny paint. Okay, no, I'm not a big fan. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling it. I thought I was gonna like it, like this color combination, but I'm not feeling this too much. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You know, I'm just gonna paint it gold, man. It's too complicated. Gold. There we go. <laughs> secondary color. What can we do with secondary? Chrome. No, 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 no. That's gonna be too plain. Let's put some, some wow in there. Let's see. Oh, that looks actually pretty awesome. Gold, gold and blue. Look at that. The whole interior actually inside switches. That's awesome. I like it blue. Ultra blue. Or what about red? Red might look really awesome with gold. Let's see. There's red. There we go. There's red. Not a big fan. I'm going to take blue. Where the heck is it? It's ultra blue. Come on. Ultra blue. There we go. We're going to take ultra blue. That's all I want for colors. How much can we sell it for now? 423,000. Didn't we buy it for 600? But but I already put upgrades. It's always like half price off when you always buy buy a vehicle. It's always going to be like half price off when you sell it. Uh, transmission all the way. Turbo for sure. Everything's not on the sale right now. Okay. Wheels. What are we going to put for wheels, man? We, we have to switch them up. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to put the carbon chrome wheels. Oh, does it only switch the front? Hey. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it only gave me the option for the front, not the back. That kind of stinks, but okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. See, it makes uh, the Rapture jump out a little bit more. Instead of, if it was all carbon, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Like, see, this this doesn't look too bad. I think I like this. You guys tell me down below if I have bad uh, bad taste. But I, I think it looks pretty cool. Chrome and carbon. Because this just looks too plain. Yeah, I'm going to take chrome and carbon. That's what I'm going to take. Um, I don't think we have an option for the rear wheel. That's kind of weird. And see, we don't have an option for the back. Hubcap. We're also going to paint it blue just so it can match with the car. Tires. Uh... Yeah, sure, we'll put custom tires, enhanced, bulletproof, smoke. I'm going to put, uh, let's see, what can I put? Where's purple, 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 purple smoke, there we go. Uh, what else? Tint? What, what are we going to tint? Oh, the little front? I didn't even see that glass piece. Okay. See, it's not even visible. But let's put limo on it so we can actually distinguish that it's actually there. That's it, guys. There's not too much to it. There's not too many upgrades. I mean, it is a cool looking car that's going to be unique passing by. Uh, the only downfall is I couldn't switch the rear wheel. I wish we could have switched the the rear wheel in the back. That would have been nice. Let me check one more time in case I passed it for some weird reason. But no, see? It doesn't give me the option for the, for the back wheel. Only for the front. So, I hope they can do something about that. It actually looks pretty cool carbon, too. Full carbon. But I'm happy with that chrome. But okay, we did everything. We got every uh, customization we could do to this vehicle, except armored. And I don't want to armor it right now, because I want to see how it actually breaks. You know what, let's just take it. I was gonna, I actually wanted to see how, how much damage it could actually take, or like what pieces fell off when you damaged the vehicle. All right guys, then we're back. Like I said, we just waited for the night to get over, because it wasn't the same, at least in my opinion. You couldn't admire the car as much as uh, as in day when there's light because at night you can't really see all the good details about it. But let's look at it one more time after we completely upgraded it. Uh, just as Raptor in the back. Uh, the only downfall is about this vehicle is I couldn't customize it as much as I wanted. 
but you guys saw all the customizations. You guys can sh say if you do want to buy it, or if you think it's not worth it, or it's just not your style. I wish I could have switched the exhaust. That's one thing I wish I could have switched. I just wish there was more customization. Maybe like inside the Raptor, the cabin area. I wish I could have switched something there. And the rear wheel too. I couldn't switch the rear wheel. I wish I could have switched that. Maybe add some attachments, some modifications to the body. Uh, I checked the... Uh, let's check the vehicle functions real fast. But I'm pretty sure in the vehicle function. So yeah, see we don't have anything. There's no doors or anything like that. It's a spider. Uh, but let's just call it Raptor by by what the game actually says. It's going to make things much easier. And I'm actually just moving the vehicle because I'm trying to get good, su good sunlight from it. Okay, there we go. But yeah, overall, I think it looks really cool. The front looks really awesome. I like uh, One thing that I do like is uh, the two-tone combinations they actually have. Like I can put right here a little bit of blue. The mirrors are blue, uh, ultra blue. The the good thing is I could actually switch the interior of the cabin with the secondary color. That's why I have ultra blue ultra blue on the seats, the roll cage, and just about some extra little pieces here here and there. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, do I recommend buying this vehicle? I mean, it's not it's not going to be that necessary, and you're not really going to use it for like uh, to protect yourself from enemies because this thing has no doors or windows. <laughs> so it's not really going to help you out and uh, fighting wise, especially if you're trying to get in a gun battle. But is it cool? Yes. Is it going to look different? Like if somebody else is just driving a regular vehicle and you're driving this? I mean, yes, of course you're going to you're going to be standing out a lot. Um, speed wise, it's it's fast. It's it's pretty much close to any other uh, supercar. It, it is fast. Traction wise and drifting and not all that great. I haven't mastered it. I was driving it a little bit more and it is kind of fun driving it. It looks really cool on the streets, especially while you're driving it. Like here we go. Looks really cool because you're not used to driving something like this on GTA, right? So it looks really cool. Whoops, there were some guys down there. So it looks really cool in my opinion. But you guys tell me down in the comments down below. Do you guys think this vehicle is actually cool? Is it overrated? Or is it not even of your interest? Tell me down in the comments down below if you actually like the vehicle. But yeah guys, I enjoyed it. It's something different, something new. So, and I always like something new on GTA because, well, you get kind of bored of the same stuff over and over. So this this kind of switches the game. And it is part of the biker uh, DLC update, so that's pretty awesome. But yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Your friends may enjoy the video just as much as you did, so share the video. But guys, thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. And as always, guys, have a good day. Have a good night. And stay golden, guys. Catch you in the next video. Whoops. <laughs> kind of got stuck up there. But yeah, guys, catch you in the next video. And thank you for watching, as always. See you.